Good afternoon. Actually, it's starting afternoon here in Spain, about 12, 12 o'clock. Uh, you are all over the place out there in the world and uh, all over the world. And so uh, who knows what time it is right now where you are. Uh, I was asked just to give a short devotional for our times this week. Um, and uh, I was thinking about how diverse we are. Uh, we're one body, but so different in so many ways. Uh, let me just read a little of the scripture. Uh, Jeremiah 17, uh, 5 through 8. Lord, guide us as we read your word and uh, think a little bit about you. Uh, nothing more important. So we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jeremiah, uh, verse 5, uh, cursed is the one who trusts in man. Uh, just that phrase gives me uh, the chill bump sort of, oh man, cursed is the man who trusts the Lord. Then verse seven starts with, but blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. Um, the first one says, cursed is the one who trusts in man who draws strength from mere flesh and whose heart turns away from the Lord. That person will be like a bush in wastelands. They will not see prosperity when it comes. They will dwell in the parched places of the desert and the salt land with, uh, where no one, no one lives. Um, it's a really bleak description of things and none of us wanna be there in our lives. I, I think of us at camping. I, I grew up in camping all my lives, all my life, and I. Uh, we are so creative. We come up with ideas, this, that, and the other, and uh, our our heart is to uh, win people to Jesus Christ and to make a difference for the for the Lord. We want to see camping make an impact in the church growth around the world because Jesus is building His church, and that's what we want to be a part of. But boy, sometimes it's so easy to get off and trust in the gifts and talents that God has given to me alone and say, well, you know, I can do this. And, uh, you know, my trust in myself can be very dangerous. Um, and it leads to not a good place. If we want to be used by our Lord in ministry to see camps reach young people, children, and families for Christ, we we, we got to be cautious about not trusting in ourselves. Uh, he has given us gifts and talents, that's true, but he has given us gifts and talents. He's the one that blesses them and uses them for his purposes the way he wants to. Now, the second part of that, that passage, verse 7 and 8, uh, say, blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. It's all a matter of trust. Do I trust in man? I trust in myself or I trust in the Lord, especially during these days of the virus and, and all these things that are happening in Spain here. We are in a mess and um, we lost some dear brothers uh, of our church, other Others have are in the process of recuperating, but fighting. It's just such a terrible thing. Who do we trust in? Uh, we're thankful for our doctors and our nurses and all those people are going out of their way in dangerous situations to help with the healing process and to fight this disease. We're deeply grateful for them, but... God is the one we trust in. We trust in our Lord. Our confidence, it says, whose confidence is in him. Where is my confidence? Uh, they will be like tree, a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream, sucking up that good water. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. That has to do with all our cultures might be different. And they are. 
Uh, they're very different from one another. I've traveled enough for all, all my years to see a lot of different cultures. And we are all, we're all a little bit different. Our, our histories have created cultures diverse and de different. Our languages, as, uh, languages have uh, com contributed to that. But really, we have one culture, and this is the culture of the scriptures, the heavenly culture. It's a culture that God is teaching us through years to become like him and his culture. Who do we trust in? I just want to encourage us all today to uh, keep dividing between that when we're making decisions to doing something, creating programs to, to figure out what to do with this virus problem. To um, Are we trusting in the Lord? Very simple. It's something I'm sure you've always, already considered, but I, I think we need to keep divided. Be careful in trusting in oneself. We're praying for you all out there. We, we really are all over the place. Our hearts are with you. And uh, you can count on that. Lord, we just thank you for your being with us. Uh, Father, companies, multinational companies around the world have competitions, competition with uh, other companies. Our family has an enemy, enemy of our souls. And uh, we ask you to protect uh, us from that enemy. And especially the Matthew 15 enemy, it says that which contaminates us comes from within. Help us to humbly keep our hearts right and trust in you and not in ourselves. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you for being with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day. In the Lord, trusting him. Bye-bye. <laughs>